when did you fall in love with rockets? So yeah, so the the, the story kind of keeps going for me. So I was doing <laughs> Sorry to yeah. drugs, really. <laughs> Can't All talk right. photography, man. We'll get we'll go on a yeah. deep rabbit hole there. <laughs> so um so it ended, uh, you know, I'm through all this doing a lot of weddings, I was already getting saturated and feeling like I'm not being as creative. You know, you can only shoot them so many weddings before you're like, well, now we do this pose, this pose, this pose, you know, even if like they're amazing places, like, you know, in front of a castle in Germany or something, I'm still like, well, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm not being very creative, you know? So I remember craving like some, some projects. And so I was sitting at my friend's coffee shop in my hometown in Cedar Falls, a sidecar coffee. And I'm sitting on this red couch and I see this article from, I think Gizmodo. And it said, you could own the flight stick of an Apollo command module. And I knew enough to know what that meant, but that's really about the end of my space knowledge. And so I clicked on it, the clickbait got me. Like I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna see if, you know, and, and I see that the minimum bid was like $250,000. I'm like, okay, no, I can't own the Apollo joystick, you know? <laughs> But it got me on this website called RR Auction. And so I started scrolling through that, looking for things that hadn't been bid on. And they had like, you know, at the time they're doing a huge space auction. And so I'm looking for things just out of curiosity, fun. These are cool. Like it's starting to really, you know, I, like I said, I like space, but I wasn't like in love with it or anything. But I, I'm very v just seeing all this stuff. I'm like, it's so cool. Look at all this old history stuff. And I ended up seeing a, um, there's an article for a, a VMSTK. 44 flight suit, high altitude flight suit that came from the Soviet Union and looks, you know, it's like a MiG fighter jet, fighter pilot suit, very similar to like the SR-71, like kind of pumpkin suit, um, pre semi-pressure suit with a, you know, full helmet. I mean, it full, it looks like a spacesuit, you know, for all intents and purposes, it's kind of like a spacesuit. And I just bid on it. You know, I bid like, I think $325. And next thing you know, like it arrives at my door. <laughs> Yeah, and from that point on, like literally, I got it out. I immediately try to put it on, and the first thing that I do is almost die in it because I closed the helmet down on myself and locked it, and didn't know how to unlock it. <laughs> so I'm <laughs> literally, and so I, I, as soon as I seal it up, I'm realizing I can't breathe. I'm going to run out of air. So luckily, like there's a hose, you know, that, kind of that long hose thing that would normally plug into an air supply had a little plug on the end of it. So I just unplugged it and was able to temporarily breathe through the hose until I figured out the, the locking mechanism. So there was my almost, that was my mortality rate thing right there. So that was probably above a 98 or so, below a 98. So you're there five. panicking inside yeah. for a few seconds. Already reading like my space. premature obituary, like idiot dies alone in, in spacesuit in his living room. You know, like just imagine. Yeah. That would be like Darwin Award for sure, for sure. <laughs> Oh, so um, <laughs> so I, I get the spacesuit and it kind of literally take my breath away. <laughs> mm. right. You should feel bad for that one. You you introduced Creed to me, <laughs> so you should feel bad about that one. Stars <laughs> wide open. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, so I ended up like the spacesuit kind of like more or less haunted me because it kind of just it sat in like my living room for a long time and I didn't know what to do with it. And I actually had a friend who is also a photographer, wanted to do like a, a photo. He was just kind of taking pictures randomly. He's like, hey, bring your spacesuit over. We'll do a, a picture. He's yeah. like, all right. You know, I walk across the street, literally lived across the street, Taylor. And, uh, and I put the spacesuit on. He took this funny picture of me like, this is awesome. And I got a lot of like fun out of like creating a character, you know, of everyday astronaut. Or at, at the time, I guess I didn't know, an astronaut. Mm -hmm. And then that kind of just continued. I was like thinking of more and more funny situations where I could have this astronaut on Earth doing mundane everyday things. And came up with the name Everyday Astronaut. And originally, it was just literally a photo project, like this whole art series of an astronaut doing these things, these funny, whimsical, you know, silly, mundane things. But I was researching a lot about like, you know, I was trying to hide Easter eggs. Like I was going to hide in like the, you know, the echocardiogram of of, of Alan Shepard, you know, like his first flight into space and photoshopping that into pictures and like, mm -hmm. you know, doing all these little like facts about space flight, but they're just hidden little elements in these photos. And man, doing that, I just fell in love with it. I just was going over every little detail that I could learn. I was just couldn't stop learning. And I was, I was getting excited because I was like, I could be teaching people about all this exciting stuff and all the cool things people figured out, you know, 40 years ago, 50 years ago, and was trying to portray that through images on Instagram. And, you know, it, it took me a little while, but eventually I realized, you know, on Instagram, your retention rate, you're lucky if you get like 
two seconds of someone looking at an image, you know, or maybe nowadays 60 seconds of a quick little Instagram short or something. But um, yeah. It, it, it doesn't give you a chance to really teach, to explore a, a little topic that you felt, like you felt the curiosity about the thing. There's so much to learn here. This is so, so beautiful. Much. There's so, so many opportunities to have a light bulb go off for someone yeah. and be like, this is awesome. 